Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome back to Tech Right. So sorry if the lighting seems kind of weird in here. I've got my Philips Hue lights set up and I'm kind of digging the color and I kind of wanted to film a video in it. So today I'm going to show you my <clears throat> Pokemon Go Pokedex as well as what I've caught so far. I'm way far behind on this because I didn't really play a whole lot in between events. I kind of just hopped onto the events and played and got the Pokemon that I don't have and got off. For those of you who don't know, I used to have a separate Pokemon channel specifically for opening up Pokemon cards uh, that <laughs> it was kind of geeky and nerdy and I enjoyed it. I still like to do it, I just haven't bought cards uh, because I like playing the games and I like actually using Pokemon Go more. I haven't really done any Pokemon Go apps. Uh, or reviews or anything like that. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a screen capture video on here So let me hop on over and plug in my phone and let's get recording Okay, so as you can see over here, I am actually only level 25 and that's That's not a lot considering everyone else that I know has just been playing non-stop and my friend Brittany is like level 30 and I don't know if you play Pokemon Go a lot, but once you get pretty much from level 20 up, it is extremely hard to level up. So I'm gonna quit yapping. I'm gonna show you the Pokemon that I've caught so far, and then we're gonna talk about the updates coming out soon, because I'm really excited about it. So I like to go in here and sort mine by name, um, because not only does that allow me to see everything I have in order, but it allows me to check out my doubles and see <coughs> what I need to get rid of because I haven't upgraded space, I have not bought anything on the app at all because I just don't want to really spend money on this. So I've got my Abras, Apoms. Now listen, Arcanine, I'm extremely proud of Arcanine because for the first like three months, I didn't find a single Growlithe and Actually, no, for the first like seven or eight months, I didn't find a single Growlithe. I couldn't find him anywhere. And I'm in love with him. So, Ariados, Azumarill, Bayleaf. I have all of the second generation starters. Uh, I've got my Charizard. I have a Venusaur. I don't have a Blastoise yet because for some reason, getting water type Pokemon around here in my area is extremely hard to do. Cloyster, I am extremely proud of this cloister because I hatched like four or five different shelters out of eggs and that allowed me to get one before anyone else that I know had one. And he's just cool. Like, I mean, look at him. He's cool. Now, I'm sure a lot of people that are on the West Coast have Dragonites and Dratinis and Dragonairs galore, but they do not pop up here very often at all. Uh, everyone kind of freaks out when they see a Dragonite. So, you know, the fact that I have one just is like a rarity around here and yeah a lot of my other friends have like maybe one out of the three evolutions but I have the Dragonite. I also have the Dratini but the thing that bothers me is a lot of my friends have the middle evolution and I do not and that's my favorite one. Uh, so you know eventually I'll get one but if you partner this one up with your buddy it's like five kilometers for one candy, and that is ridiculous when I have five candies. <laughs> I evolved a fur alligator today, and it's a level 35. And I'm really, really, really kind of upset about it, but I guess that's okay. I don't, like, I'm not a big fan of fur alligator. It just kind of happened. Graveler. The reason I'm pulling Graveler up right now is because I put him as my buddy when I had 35 candies. Now, he's only one kilometer per candy. So that's one of the reasons I did it, but I don't have a golem and I've walked him all the way up to 75 and I refuse to unpair him until I have my golem. Jinx, I caught Jinx today. I'm really, really happy about this because I did not think I was going to find one. But uh, actually, you know what? Let's just skip through here because it might be a lot easier for me to just show you my Pokedex instead of the Pokemon that I've caught. So let's go out of here. Let's go into my Pokedex so that you can clearly see what I have. Okay, I almost have all of the starters for the first gen. If you'll scroll through here, I can't find a Slam Slash anywhere. I've only found two Sand Shrews. 
I don't have a Wigglytuff because for some reason Jigglypuffs literally do not pop for me at all. All my friends already have it. Mm -mm -mm. Like, a lot of these I have until you get into the second generation. Now, I'm really upset because me and my friend Joseph saw a Lapras over at the gas station across the road from where we live, so we literally hopped in the car as fast as we could to try to go get it, and we couldn't get it. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. I couldn't get it. We got over there, he caught his, after 20 minutes, mine ran from me, so I never caught him, and I haven't seen one since. It does make me feel happy that I have all gens the second generation, but I think that everyone does at this point. Now, my favorite, some of my favorite Pokemon are in the third generation, which I'm really excited for them to come out with. Uh, so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what they do with that, because they didn't really even release all of the second generation. And that's one of the things that's getting on my nerves a little bit. They are not releasing fast enough to keep people interested. Like, I have stuck with this for a long time and it makes me happy that I have, but... <sighs> like, I just, eventually, I'm gonna get tired of this. And... That's it, I'm gonna get tired of this. So you've seen my Pokedex, you've seen all the Pokemon that I've caught, and the Pokemon that I really want. Now let's talk about this update that's happening. It's been almost a year since Pokemon Go has been released and the changes that they're making to the gyms is a little bit ridiculous. If you'll notice in the game, if you play a lot, starting today, none of the gyms are available. You cannot click on them at all. It says they're under construction. The reason that they're under construction is because the new gyms are not going to have a tiered system. They're going to have six different slots that you can fight any one of the Pokemon and if you defeat it you can replace your Pokemon with that one and then your Pokemon is in the gym. Not only that, but they're going to have eggs at the top of every single gym that is included with the timer. When that timer runs out, the egg hatches, you get a rare Pokemon and that's going to allow you to battle the Pokemon but from the time the egg hatches, you have five minutes. Up to 20 people can battle the same Pokemon within that five minute time span to help try to defeat it. If you are one of the people that helps defeat the actual Pokemon, then you get a chance at trying to catch the extra rare Pokemon that is on top. But one of the things that it doesn't really tell you is how long the timers are going to be. Because if it's a 24 hour timer, I'm going to be really upset about it because that's going to be difficult. If it was like a 30 minute timer, or a 72 hour timer, that's still also going to be kind of ridiculous. We're going to have to wait and see how that plays out, but that's supposed to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. You know, this isn't going to be released to everyone at the same time, according to Niantic. They're going to be slowly releasing this to players until it is all out to try to avoid the system shutdown that they had last year when they originally launched the game. Maybe this will be an effective system, maybe it won't, but the one thing I'm going to tell you is I'm going to be really, really upset if I have friends that have this new feature and I don't have it yet, so I can't play with them. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys my Pokedex and what I've been doing in the past couple of days because it's been four or five days since I've posted a video and that's actually the norm for me. I usually post one or two videos a week, but considering I've been obsessed with technology and games and video gaming lately, I kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop and to let you know what's coming up and what we're gonna be doing. So you guys, be sure to like this video, put a comment down below, let me know what you wanna see next on this channel. Uh, let me know if you like the terrible lighting from my Philips Hue lights. Uh, I kinda think they're cool, I'm not gonna lie. I might do something with some cool colors in a video soon, but until then, just stay tuned. Also in the description box, be sure to check out all my social media links uh, and links to everything that I film with as far as cameras, mics, tripods, lighting, uh, the whole shebang here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel right here. Check out these videos as well and I will see you guys in the next video. I love all of you. Peace.